Gotta show love to the Wizards, man. After winning 15 out of their last 19, Russell Westbrook has been going berserk with triple doubles and dominating at a huge force. I mean, ever since people said he was washed beginning to middle of the season, you know how two-dimensional NBA fanboys are. And Bradley Beal has been balling as well, pretty much up there with Steph Curry, leading with the league scoring in the NBA. And the Washington Wizards are close to making it in the playing tournament. Actually, they are in the playing play tournament, but close to pretty much catching the eighth or potentially the seventh seed. Big turnaround this season from Russell Westbrook and the Washington Wizards. Got to give much love to them, especially to Russell Westbrook this season, who ties Oscar Robertson's triple-double record, leading the Washington Wizards to a 133-132 overtime win we did see against the Indiana Pacers. The Washington Wizards have pretty much have flipped the script and they've come in and they dominated at a huge position. If you've seen the Washington Wizards within the night, Russell Westbrook scored 33 points, grabbed 19 rebounds, and had 15 assists, another triple-double to lead the Wizards over that win. We're going to see in Russ's career, he's a triple-double machine. Even if Russell Westbrook has expected to not win a championship, we can look upon him about Mr. Triple-Double. Because as he is aging within his career, he's not going to have championships. He's not going to have pretty much these team success wins. So, I mean, kudos to him. He, he gets triple doubles like it's nothing out there. And he realizes his niche, his role, and his box office, Savante, is people are going to look into the end of his career. Triple doubles. But not only from that. Every time he gets triple doubles, it usually leads into a win. Just like his first season in 2017, to where he started doing a ponzo when KD left. And they had a 46 and 36 record, a six seed with the Oklahoma City Thunder that season, resulting in the same thing with the Washington Wizards this season. Now, during the game, we did see a huge block by Russell Westbrook, and we've seen the momentum come within the Washington Wizards. They're a fun team to watch now. They don't have big time names as role players. Denny Avija is out for the season. You have Bradley Beal cooked up a nice 50 points that outing, and him and Russ have finally. Finally, have paired within each other. Um, they understand the team chemistry. They work things through, and they're a fun duo to watch. I'm not gonna lie. Now, the Washington Wizards, as of right now, are a ninth seed in the NBA. The seventh seed is the Boston Celtics, who just lost Jalen Brown. So that could be up in the air within the last four games before the playing tournament. The Charlotte Hornets are at an eighth seed, and the Washington Wizards are right there at a ninth seed. Then at the tenth, you do have the Indiana Pacers, which this was a huge win for Washington in general within this as well. Now, as we are looking into the Washington Wizards, they are at a 32 and 36 record. They're one game behind the eighth seed from the Charlotte Hornets and three games behind the Celtics. But if they can get that eighth seed, which is most important, they can have at least two games in the play-in tournament. Now, do they want to see the Brooklyn Nets in the first round? I doubt it. Um, but if they get an eight seed, they're going to see the Philadelphia 76ers. So you pretty much got to pick one of those two. But who knows? The Milwaukee Bucks could actually leapfrog the Nets and get that second seed. So if you're the Wizards right now, you do anything possible just to make the playoffs. Um, but this is a fun team to watch if we're looking to the Washington Wizards in general. The beginning of the season, they were atrocious. Now, they've always had a losing record, but... I believe they won around 10 out of the last 13, somewhere in that mix. And besides from that, they've been, the lineups have been pretty funny. You know, they've gone a very small ball lineup with Russell Westbrook, Bradley Beal, and Raul Neto. Three guards pretty much playing the one, two, and three. And then now you do have, with Danny Avija out, they've gone with that small lineup. Um, the Wizards next season, I fully expect them to keep Russell Westbrook on the team and try to rebuild during the offseason. Besides from that, they've been a fun team to watch. Bradley Beal's been cooking. He's going to be out for the next two games, but he should be good right before the playing tournament. The Wizards have the momentum to make it into a final playoff spot. Let's see what happens there.